This is not just the world's ultimate live streaming camera, it's also one of the smartest over-engineered and useful PTZ cameras on the market today. Now the Opsbot tail air uses some clever AI powered algorithms to perform object tracking with pan tilt zoom follow shots. Besides being a brilliant live streaming camera with support for up to three cameras simultaneously controlled via the app or smart remote controller, it's also a content creator's best friend. Here's why. So if like me, you're a solo content creator, how on earth are you supposed to get dynamic follow shots like this without a second camera operator? Well, the answer is the Obspot tail air. Because this camera has multiple wired and wireless connections, plus a slot for a micro SD card, you don't have to be tethered to a computer, meaning that you have freedom to move around and film yourself just like a regular digital camera. You can even use the Obsbot tail air as a vlogging camera. Yes, it's a bit bulky, I suppose, and the image stabilization could be better. You are more likely though to mount this camera on a tripod and take full advantage of the awesome tracking capabilities, something that regular vlogging cameras simply cannot do without the need for fancy gimbals. So the AI Gesture Controls 2.0 make you look like you're directing traffic but are pretty straightforward. So giving the international symbol for OK will start the camera recording and the Obspot tail air will capture either 1080p or 4K beautifully in whatever physical position you left the camera. Giving the flat hand symbol, this will enter human tracking mode and the camera will follow you wherever you go and it will communicate this to you with the status indicator on the front of the camera. Obviously the camera will be rotating on the top and the app will tell you this as well. And to exit, just present the hand again and it will leave the camera in its last known physical position. If you want to zoom in, then simply give the loser symbol. Okay, maybe not on the forehead. Just out to the side here, and the camera will zoom in by times two. And to get back to full screen, we can simply give that symbol again. And this symbol will enter dynamic zoom, so you can set the crop manually by bringing your hands in and out. Pretty simple. Boasting a 1 over 1.8 inch CMOS sensor with up to 4K 30 frames per second, and because of the new larger pixel size being two microns, the footage comes out really crisp and clean. I was surprised by how well it does come out. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison with a GoPro Hero 11 in 4K. So here's the GoPro Hero 11 on the left versus the Obsbot tail air on the right, both shooting at 4K 30 frames per second with ISO 100. Let's turn the lights down by 50% to see how they both handle low light. So the lights have been turned down in the room and the ISO has increased to 800 on both cameras. Impressive results on the tail air. Now, of course, the two big attractions of this camera are the pan tilt zoom focus tracking feature and live streaming with multi camera capability. You can have up to three separate tail air cameras linked together and either stream directly through the mobile start app to one of your favorite social media platforms like YouTube, Facebook Live, Twitch, Vimeo live stream, for example. Or you can connect with NDI support with higher quality streaming and low latency for say live streaming events. You will need to purchase an NDI activation code separately though. As optional extras, you can purchase a USB-C to ethernet cable should you wish to connect directly to a router. And there is also available a smart remote controller. So let's look at this thing up close. I mean, this camera is sturdy, weighing in at 350 grams and standing around five inches tall. It has been well engineered, probably over engineered in fact, but that's perfectly fine with me. It does seem quite heavy for a live streaming camera. I'm not sure if they've deliberately added weight to the tail air, but more likely it's probably the internal rechargeable battery, which can last as long as 136 minutes. That's well over two hours of live streaming and filming. And with that extra weight, with the addition of this nice rubber ring along the bottom of the base, it does feel really nice and secure on a desk surface. Pretty handy paperweight too. The two axis gimbal is lovely and smooth. Again, very well engineered for that PTZ feature, which we'll talk more about later. Now the camera itself is actually quite big. It houses an eight prime lens construction, giving us that wide aperture of F1.8. And at the back of those lenses is the sensor, which is a one over 1.8 inch sensor with two microns per pixel, which is relatively big for a live streaming camera. And if you look closely at the top rim here, you will see 
an infrared laser, and that measures the distance between camera and subject matter, improving focus time and focus accuracy. On the front of the base here is our battery indicator, pretty self-explanatory. Each LED represents 25% of battery. Above that is the status indicator, and this comes in a variety of colors. This can tell you a number of things, like whether gesture control was successful, or live streaming or tracking is selected. Down on the bottom of the base are two discrete little holes. Those are inbuilt microphones for recording audio. The audio quality isn't too bad. I'm currently filming with the inbuilt microphones here in my YouTube studio. There is no soundproofing, so there is a bit of room echo. But if you require something a little more professional, around the other side of the base is a 3.5 mil audio jack for plugging in third party microphones like my DJI microphone receiver. And this is particularly useful when filming professional online tutorials or talking head style shots like this. Directly around the other side of the base is our micro SD card slot for recording directly to a memory card. Very useful if you're on location and not tethered to a computer. And below that is a micro HDMI port for outputting video signal directly to a screen or a field monitor. Obviously the OBSBOT doesn't have a touch screen on it. And finally, around the back, we have a power on off switch and a USB-C port for charging the camera and further connection options. Underneath, we have a thread to attach a tripod base plate, and this is an extension pin interface for accessories like the rotation charging base, which extends the camera's endurance to seven hours and true 360 degree rotation. So that's pretty much it. No fancy touch screens, nice slick design, lovely finish and impressive results when used alongside the Start app available on Android and iOS. So let's take a look at that. So this is the interface for the iOS app on the iPhone. And on the left-hand side, we have what's called Director's Grid. And this allows you to choose a portion of the video feed and push it out during a live streaming event. I have position one, two, and three, which is customizable. Uh, position three is a close-up on my face. Position two, I've set to do a close-up on the pictures on the wall and position one is my default talking head style position. And if you have multiple cameras, there will be more options in this grid for you to choose. Really useful. Below that, we have the camera settings for the Obspot tail air. We can set the iOS with the wheel and of course the shutter speed. Or if you're not so well versed in exposure settings, you can choose automatic. You'll notice down below that we also have those customizable positions one, two, and three on the main screen. So should we want to zoom in on my face or the wall, you can quickly access those positions by pressing one, two, and three. Another cool feature on the Obspot tail air is called object tracking. Similar to tracking humans or animals, we can now track objects like this really nice flight carry case that the camera comes packaged up in. So we'll pop that there and we'll click this little cube symbol. Now we can draw a square around that item and the camera will lock onto it using AI and obediently follow it wherever it goes. Really useful for demoing products on say shopping channels. And there's a lot of noise in the background on the wall with the pictures. So it's doing a pretty decent job of tracking it. The more obvious and recognizable an object is, the AI will have a much better chance of tracking it. So last thoughts on the Obsbot tail air. Well, I have to say the video quality is what really surprised me on this camera. Really nice 4K detail captured and pretty decent in low light, along with the intelligent tracking capabilities and the professional live streaming options. Any downside to the tail air? Well, it's a little thing, but the micro SD card slot is very fiddly. You need a really long nail to get this card out. I don't really know why they've recessed it quite so far back, but there you go. Anything else? Well, like most vlogging cameras on the market today, they usually come with a touchscreen, sometimes two. This one doesn't have any. However, it is designed to work seamlessly with the iOS and Android app, which I have to say is brilliant. Haven't had any issues with connectivity and it's very easy to navigate. My only other personal preference being a full-time YouTuber would be the ability to film in some kind of log profile, which the tail air doesn't have. So you do have to consider your highlights and your shadows when you set up the shot. 
So here is the OBS Black Tail Air Design 4. Well, if like me, you're a solo content creator or specialize in online tutorials or live streaming podcasts or interviews, it's for pretty much anyone who needs a versatile, reliable camera that can do a lot of stuff. Remote video production, video conferencing. I mean, I personally love the tracking features on this because it takes ordinary footage and makes it dynamic. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could do me a big favor and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, that's the easiest way to support me as a content creator. I'll catch you next time. Thank you.